Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Shirley. And today I thought we'd just talk a little bit about uh, the way plants make us feel. We, we love to buy these things. We, we love to have them around our homes. But why do we do that? Most of the plants are green. They're just one color. Um, and uh, obviously there are different shapes and sizes and, and um, that is beautiful. Um, but you know, the psychology of it, I mean, they're, they're not, <laughs> obviously if the flowers are different colors, aren't they? They're, they could be pink and they could be red and they could be yellow. <laughs> I'm just talking about the differences, you know. Um, but we just love to have them in our lives and in our homes and on our windowsills and on our tables. And some people, by their beds um, because they give us this lovely feeling of freshness and newness um, and they're so soothing to look at there is a different a definite healing um, reaction when you look at a plant I think it's because of several reasons really one is they're very still you know and the stillness slows you down because you're thinking, you've got all this stuff going on in your head, you've got to get dinner, you've got to go to the office, whatever, whatever. Um, memories, things you've got to remember to do and sometimes it all gets a bit too much and and then you just cast, cast your eye on one of these lovely plants in your house and it grabs you in that moment and you look at that beauty and that shape and that colour, but it's still. It's just very still. And it just slows you right down. And I think that is probably the first thing. That there is the visual reaction to the shape and the colour of the plant, but then there's the stillness. And we don't often think about the stillness, do we? We think about the colour and the type of plant and you know where it can go and the watering and all of the things. But we don't think about what they're actually doing for us in our lives. And on top of that, you know, they're breathing out this wonderful oxygen which is just aerating and refreshing and, and doing us so much good. But the psychology of it, the spiritual side of it, is that plants are very still, very beautiful in their colour, their shape, and in that moment they slow us down and they soothe our nerves. And then because we see there's an old leaf or um, a twig or you know it needs watering or whatever, we just go into that mode of caring and loving for that plant because it's such a visual it just gives so much visual love. I sound really odd, but I think you understand me. It, it does you so good to look at them that you just want to look after them. You don't want them to shrivel up and all of this. But all of that can happen because our lives are so hectic and busy and we have so many other things to think and do. So I was just saying to myself, you know, what is it, apart from their visual beauty, what is it that the plants do for us that we just are so drawn to them so much? And it is this, this stillness that this is so calming and soothing. And the colour green is such a wonderful colour. The colour green is actually um, um, a balancing colour, it's a healing colour. They say that it, the, the heart centre is actually green um, in terms of um, spirituality um, and, uh, and there is this lovely feeling of oneness when you're with them. And aside from that, there is always something new. They're not just there, they're constantly changing. They're constantly growing, but it's so imperceptible because it's 
so you know one minute i mean i i say this but sometimes i water my plants and um maybe not the next day but sometimes it's the next day but the day after i'll suddenly find there's a new shoot to come through or um they they've changed they've they've sort of spread out all of a sudden that there is definitely a change and yet for so long you just don't see anything you know days go by there's there's nothing much and then you water them and then a few days later there is definitely a change so they do move and they do change but so much of the time there is this wonderful soft stillness that makes us feel so much better within ourselves and slows us right down and then as we tend them and care for them and nurture them and some of them actually give us flowers such as this beautiful Philanopsis orchid right now that I have and they flower and oh it's wonderful you have to wait quite a while for them to flower but when they do it lasts months if you haven't had an orchid um, my orchids do anyway they go on for months and there are little tweaks and things you can do with them that can help them continue for a little bit longer and then you have to let them rest um, for quite a while they rest and they concentrate then on just the growing the strengthening within the plant itself the root system and the leaves and um, all of this and um, and so I just thought I'd just talk about how healing these plants are and how, how much we need that in our lives we need that stillness and that calmness that makes us feel so much better within and within ourselves. And as I was saying, that they don't change, you know, dramatically in front of you, but they do change. And um, as they do, so they give you this feeling of, it's all psychological, it's not so much that you actually, you know, say these things to yourself, but if you analyse it, it, it is, it's true new beginnings they're fresh and new all the time there's always something fresh and new um like for example this trade scantia it wasn't by the window it wasn't getting much light and it had lost some of its beautiful color lovely color let's get that and um anyway i thought oh you know i'll put it by the window and just look at the difference. Can you actually see this? Beautiful lilac and pale purple leaf colouring. It's so lovely. There's not a flower on it, but those leaves are just wonderful, aren't they? And you know, that colour is so lovely. So, so long as it's by a window, quite close to a window, um, the colour will retain. And, uh, you know, I can enjoy, enjoy this. And so I was saying new beginnings, you know, it's um, something new and different. And it just reminds you that there is new beginnings and a new day for your own self. And you can, um, you know, you, you, you don't have to stay in a rut. You, you know, if you get like that, you know, just, just tend your plants for a bit and just remind yourself what they're telling you, because they are actually telling you this, but it's, it's all <laughs> imperceptible. It's all very subtle. And, and if we analyse it, then we can feel even closer to our plants because we realise what they're doing for us, how they're making us feel, how they're helping us get through the tough times in our lives. Um, myself, I hadn't had many plants for some time. I used to, years ago. Um, but I, I, had I, I had had a few orchids, actually. Um, and they'd gone on sort of bouncing along over the years, but there was just a couple of them. Um, and I hadn't had any others. And then I, I went through a very difficult time, very difficult emotional time. And I just, I just knew when I saw the plants in the shops, that's what I needed. And so I started to buy them, one and then another one. And, you know, sort of started to really enjoy this. And, and then, of course, there's the fun of learning about them because you have to you have to learn about them a little bit don't you otherwise you know they're just going to dry up on you you're going to overwater them you're going to put them in the wrong position in the house 
Um, but you know, the positions in the house are important, uh, not just for the plants, but for ourselves. Um, the beauty of it is that there is more than one position that you can put your plant in. And so you can move them around the house and you can enjoy the styling of the plants, which is something that I absolutely love. I love to be able to move them around a little bit um, and um, give them a new look, give me a new look, put them with a different plant in a different spot. So long as it still covers the uh, things that they need, the, the amount of light, temperature, shade, um, humidity and all that sort of thing. I mean, you've got to consider all of that because otherwise you will have problems. But otherwise, you can enjoy this. You can enjoy moving them around and making things look different and better in your house and more enjoyable. And I just thought I'd just make a little video today to just to talk about the love that you have for the plant, but the way that the plant is actually loving you in its own way because it is the world brought inside isn't it you know we go out for our walks in the woods and we take the dog around the block and through the trees and look at other people's gardens and their flowers and everything that's the outside it's the outside world and we have to be out we have to enjoy that type of thing it makes us feel so good it's that connection to the world to the sky to to nature and so when you have some plants of your own in the house Got your own little inside world and I know all these things are so obvious in a way but then again do we think about it every day and if we think about it it makes us feel so much better doesn't it it's just just highlighting these thoughts the soothing the loving and um, the gentleness of them I mean they're so gentle aren't they they're so gentle and they're so innocent there is nothing there that wants to harm you, wants to get at you, wants to remind you to do something other than they need a drink, of course. But, you know, it's just that lovely peace that the plants bring us. Um, that, I think, is a nice thing to think and analyse because it's a rapport with your plants and um, it just makes you realise how they can make you feel so good when you're feeling a bit low, when you're feeling overwhelmed, when you're feeling harassed. Go and sit somewhere with your plants, you know, and just breathe the air around them because it's got to be good, hasn't it? And just enjoy them. Anyway, that's all I was going to say today. So I hope you've enjoyed that little chat. And it's just giving you a bit of food for thought and you can just go off now and find a couple of plants and put them in a different area and enjoy looking them looking at them on that windowsill or that table or whatever so long as they've got the requirements that they need of course don't forget that because we don't want to do anything to our plants just because we want to see them in another nice spot but you can have a couple of spots that you like to put them and then every now and again just 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 move them around over the the weeks and the months and just enjoy it and um, anyway that's all I was going to say for today I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope it's made you feel better and have um, a much nicer rapport with your plants they're not just green leafy things that you're feeding that they are little creatures in their own right they have their own expression and their own love to give to you and I just thought it'd be nice just to talk about that today so with that I'll say bye and see you again next time.